Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have a Mancur E052. This is a single AA powered everyday carry flashlight. You can find the selling at flashlightgo.com for $29.99. I'll have links below. I think you're going to find this slide amazing, as I do. So definitely check that out. Uh, so yeah, let's look at it here. The man curve comes in this little box, took everything out of it. We got some big bullet points here. E052, 1300 lumen max. Yes, uh, I've read some reviews. Uh, guys have tested the lumen rating. And yes, it definitely hits that or exceeds it. You got the weight, the battery, 42.7 grams. Length, it comes with a 14500 battery. Nice, with a type C. Uh, jack on it so you can charge it up. They have cool white, neutral white. Uh, I think cool white was the only ones available at the time I bought this. Pocket everyday carry flashlight. Some more bullet points. You got IP68 waterproof. Beam distance of 148 meters. Not bad. Notice on the back a little bit of the illustration there and their contact information. Okay, so let's look at what we get in the box. So we get the star of the show. This thing is awesome. Loving the color. It is forest green. A uh, really nice looking light. Um, this tail switch being all metal is really cool. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Recessed, so it's out of the way. It's just absolutely fantastic. Flashlight for AA power. Love it. So, get the flashlight. Awesome. We also get a couple light diffusers, which I thought was neat. I get a clear in the red. Those are handy to have. You get the core to charge that battery I mentioned, which I'll show you. USB to Type-C. Again, Type-C ports on the battery itself. And then we get a lanyard. Again, very handy if you're using it for like an evening walk. And you have extra O-ring as well in there. Not bad. It's adjustable too. All right, great. And then we get the manual here. Manker. Let's go see if we can open this up. Get the warranty service. Looks like, what, one year or something? Five year? Okay, maybe it's five year. Got the LEPs, I think, are a year or something. All right, so there you go. Give you an idea. Let's open this up. I think it's multiple language. And I think I got the wrong language, so I'll flip it over. All right, so looking up here, packing list. I just showed you all that stuff. Nice. Introduction. You can see how it's built. Tritium slot on the tail. Nice. Cool. And then here's some dimensions, which we'll go over. And then there's your 14500 with the charging function. Yeah, it has a red LED built into the battery, which is cool. And it, it stays red when it's charging. It turns green when it's done. Over here, we got the technical data. Now, it runs on three different types of batteries, which is fantastic. You got your 14500. It gives you the run times there. Low, medium, high, strobe. Corresponding times. And then here we have AA nickel metal hydride. Of course, you can freeze frame if you need to. And then, of course, we're running just an alkaline battery, which most people probably won't, the smart ones, because we know alkalines love to leak into our fantastic flashlights, so we tend not to use them, only in a pinch if we have to. And then here you can see what they used to test it with. There you go. Operating instructions. It's a pretty basic affair. Um, I'll try to cover it most with you. It does have mode memory, which I found out. Not a bad thing. And there you go, you just cycle it. And the neat thing, it also has half press, which is momentary operation. Um, so yeah, you can definitely, if it's on low, you can just momentary low and not make it click. So that's nice if you don't want to wake anybody up. All right, so there's the manual, done with that. Let's get to the flashlight, score features of it. So let's score dimensions first, bring it down. Dun, 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 zooming on down here. Okay, so length is three and five eighths of an inch or 92 millimeters. Head diameter is three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters, same as the tail. Nice. So let's uh, do a size comparison. Those are always fun. All right, bring this back up. Uh, I'm just going to bring in, let's see, the do I have different flashlights here. I don't really have a huge selection. I got, uh, okay, so I have an 18650. We'll bring that in. Okay, I got to bring this up even higher. There we go. Um, let's see, I also have like a Pokey Lid. It's another AA flashlight, just to give an idea. I do have some more of these, which I wanted to compare to. Uh, AA battery. Okay, since these two both run on AA, this is a nickel metal hydride rechargeable, 2800. 
And of course we have an 18650 flat top to give you an idea for size. And then for competition's sake, um, the big one in here is the Lumatop Tool AA set with its 14500 cell, um, which I'll probably be comparing the Manker to. So you can get an idea. The reason why is if you look, the tail switches are recessed and hidden. And I like that. Um, the ace beam's exposed. Now it's hard to engage this tail switch. They made it really difficult. So it's hard to turn on in your pocket, but it's still not recessed and it still can be pushed on. So I do like the fact that these are guarded. So these are definitely worthy of comparing, even though this probably outclasses that. So let's go ahead and get to the features. So there you go, get the size done. Bring it back on down. We'll go over this real quick here. It's a pretty simple operation. There you go, this Manker light, E052, uh, A1, I'm not sure what the A1 means, but uh, there you go, some markings on here. Uh, really cool uh, aircraft grade aluminum alloy body with your type three hard anodized finish in this forest green. Um, just a great looking color. Uh, this metallic looks good on here, loving that. So going to the front, you'll see it's got a, uh, how do you say it, crenellated, crenellated, castle, whatever they call that, castle bezel. And uh, it's not like a for defense on this type. It's more for if the light is on, so we'll turn it on. And you sit on the table, you'll be able to see that it's on. Let me show you. So you'll see these like little light beams coming out. So if this is like, if you set your light down, you know it's still on. It's a good thing. So that's what that's for. You learn these things as you use your flashlights. Um, but it has that, which is fantastic. Uh, also, if you look here, we're glass lenses uh, coated, kind of got a purple hue to it. Kind of get that in the light. Uh, it's coated on both sides. Going up closer, we have an orange peel reflector there, producing a nice beam, a 40 degree spot, and uh, the spill is about 105 degrees. And the LED they didn't give me any information. I tried to find stuff about it, but I just couldn't. It's a cool white LED, like it says on the box, and in the advertised uh, 6500K color temperature. Now, so this was tested by somebody else, and they said they got a CIRI of uh, a color rendering index of around 63, I want to say. So it's kind of low on the color rendering, uh, but it still does a great job of lighting up an area. So there you are. Okay, like I mentioned, the body, pretty cool. We have our bell clip here, which is black PVD coated, uh, stainless steel, nice. And it's got a lanyard point right here. I was figuring out where would you tie a lanyard to it, and that's the only spot you can is right there, because they didn't put one on the edge. And I kind of wish they notched it and put a little hole on the side, but they kept it nice and sleek and didn't do that, so they left that open there. So that's where you put your lanyard right there. Nice. Tail switch, again, has that six by one and a half millimeter tritium slot where you can put more tritium in. Now, I don't know where you can get that stuff. It's pretty cool. Those uh, glass vials with the radioactive gas that glows for like 20 years or something. It's amazing. You just glue one of those in there with a UV glue and off you go. Um, that's nice. You can find your tail. But I mean, I'll be honest with you, in the dark, you know which side is which. Um, you can feel the clip first. Two, you can feel this like, this is cool. It's like a notch. You can just feel that with your thumb. You know you're on the tail with it. So you don't really necessarily need to know which direction it is when you grab for your flashlight. So maybe they'll help you find your flashlight if you set it down somewhere and it's turned off. It's the only thing I could think of of why you'd want that in there. So let's go ahead and use the tail switch. So it's got momentary, which is neat, and it's got mode memory. So if you just do it slowly, it will stay on the same mode. If you do it quickly, you'll cycle modes. So there's your modes there. So it's right now it's cycling low, medium, and high. There's no turbo, which is nice. It's all right there for you. Now there's strobe here. So if I keep doing this, it will engage a strobe. There you are. Um, need to have that. Okay, so that, that's how that works. And then of course, if you like your modes, you can just click it on and lock in that mode you want with the tail switch. And of course, if you turn it off, turn it back on, you can cycle it that way too. So that's kind of more difficult to do it that way. But uh, here we are on low and again, turning it off. And if you wait a few seconds and lightly test it, turn it back on, it'll start on low again. So you get that momentary low, nice and quiet. That is handy, loving that. Um, IP68 waterproof and dustproof, uh, fantastic. Uh, one and a half meter drop resistance, which is pretty much on all these. And then opening this up here, 
We'll take a look on the inside. Always fun to see what we got going on. It looks like a driver board with a uh, reverse polarity protection physical one there. That little ball right there keeps it so you can't put the battery in backwards or any type of AA cell in here backwards. So there you are. And then our battery is a labeled Mancur light. Nice. It's your typical capacity, 920 milliamp hour. There's your type C jack. And of course, this turns red when it's charging and green when it's finished. Yeah, very simple. Like that, and the barrel thickness is pretty good. Um, I like that it does have a little bit of meat there, um, versus like the Lumatop tool, which I can show you. I'll make sure I get this. These, these threads are nice and large, so it's easier. You're not going to cross thread them. So yeah, I like that as well. So we'll lock that down. Uh, yeah, if I was to show you the Lumatop, which I'm going to do a bench top demo with, you can see on this one, this set comes with a 14500 as well. See, same capacity. It's got a type C as well. You can pull that battery out and you can see the thickness of this barrel is much thinner. So, yeah, for durability's sake, the Manker definitely is the better built um, quality wise, I would say for sure. But uh, tools are inexpensive. I think it's like $25.99 for the set for this one here. Give you an idea. Plus, it has an aluminum tail. Aluminum tail there. It runs about a month, I guess. I just unscrew it to. Save the juice, but I'm going to tighten that up right now. Okay, so cool. We're going to head to the garage where I took some pictures of the E052 in action, and then we'll come back to the bench, do a demo, and then do a final thoughts on this flashlight. So let's head to the garage. Here I am, 15 feet away from the garage door. The flashlight's on high. This is 1,300 lumens. Expect a runtime of around two minutes. Then it throttles down to 300 lumens. Runs for one hour. Then it throttles down again. To 8 lumens, and we'll run the remainder of the battery out for 4 hours. Now when it's on that high 1300 lumen mode, expect a throw of 148 meters. Now the light's on medium. This is 300 lumens. Expect a runtime of 1.5 hours before it throttles down. And when it does, it goes to 8 lumens, and it'll run the remainder of the battery out at 4 hours. Nice useful setting at 300 lumens. Gets a lot done, especially an evening walk. Now we're on low. This is 8 lumens. I pretty much use this mode when I was walking around the garage, setting up my equipment. Um, 8 lumens, you'll get 50 hours on that 14500 battery. Now I took a picture of a car wheel 6 feet away. The mode's on low, 8 lumen mode. And you get that 50 hour runtime. Gives you plenty, plenty of time to fix something like an engine, something in the engine, or changing a tire. Uh, just doing different things, uh, tasks that require... Uh, not a lot of light, but uh, a lot of time. Okay, let's go back to the table. Yeah, so you get to see it in action. Let's see what it does here at the bench. Now, RFI, uh, since we are a radio channel, uh, the RFI is great on this thing. It's slight on low and medium and none on high. That means if you put it right next to the antenna, you might pick up a buzz uh, from the internal uh, components, but otherwise, not too bad at all. So I like to bring in Iron Man. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves man curve flashlights from flashlightgo.com. <laughs> oh, I just made that up there. So let's go ahead and set this up here. And we're going to turn the lights off. And I am going to turn these on. Go ahead and see what mode. Okay, so I guess low modes will work. And I am going to pause right here. Be right back. Okay, so just a little information on the Lumatop, the Tool AA, um, as you can see here. Uh, it has a turbo of 650 lumens with its 14,500 cell included. Um, its high is 360 lumens, its medium is 85 lumens, and its low right now is 16 lumens. That runs about 37 hours. Uh, this does buzz a little bit more than this one with the radios, uh, but we're going to show you kind of the beam and, and what they can do. I just keep in mind I'll be running low here for comparison. This is eight lumens, so it's like half the brightness, but it gives you an idea of the beam pattern. So we're going to go ahead, turn the lights completely off, and I'll show you what those look like, and then we'll do some final thoughts. All right. Turn that off. Okay, so I'll pick these up. Now, of course, I got the Lumatop in my left hand and the Manker in my right hand. Now, yeah, so the Manker... Has a nice soft edge and this nice big soft spot as you can see there perfect for inspection perfect for a double a powered flashlight 
This is a great companion to your Skywave radios. Um, anything that's double A powered, um, you can put it with it. So we'll bring in the Lumatop, which looks more cool white, believe it or not. And I think I remember reading that the person who tested the color temperatures and uh, Kelvin of the LED also mentioned that it was closer to neutral white than it was to cool white. And you can see the difference. Here's the Lumatop. Here's the Manker. The Lumatop definitely has a more whitish blue to it. This has more of a yellowish tint to it, just a slight bit. There you go. And of course, the Lumatop has kind of a sharper edge to it, going to its spot. I guess they're fairly similar. Just a little bit more definition of the edge on the Lumatop. All right, cool. So there are the two to give you a general idea of the spot. So I'm going to turn off the Lumatop. We'll just cycle the anchor up at the ceiling. So this is turbo, the 1300 lumens. Okay, we're going to go, there it is again, and then we're going to go through the modes momentary. So this is the low, there's medium, 300 lumens, and then turbo, 1300 lumens. Beautiful thing, just reflecting it off the ceiling. And of course, table's like going to be way too bright. Of course, we'll go to our low, and we'll turn the radio on, show you the RFI factor, which isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and get that on. Big plays on offense weren't the only way West Virginia found the end zone. How about big special teams plays? He's So there you go. Not bad on RFI. Just very slight. You had to put it right next to the antenna. So, but for uh, a lumens, this lights the radio up really nice. Uh, perfect companion again to your small shortwave radios. Um, yeah, I would definitely be using them together. Let's go turn lights back on. Do final thoughts on the Manker. Turn this on. All right. So turn this off. Yeah, so you get a, you know, you gotta remember it's a kit, so you're getting quite a bit with it as well. Let's uh, get my color back. Iron Man, he's back. <laughs> yeah, don't forget you get these diffusers, which work really well. I guess I probably should show you kind of what they look like. Uh, it's pretty much on low, so don't blind you. But uh, there's your low with the white one. Looks really nice. The diffuses are really good. Red, I can turn it up. So yeah, it looks really good with the red to uh, preserve your night vision uh, with that. Or you can use it as a flare or distress. So yeah, if I guess you have a little bag, you can keep these together. Um, they can fit together too. You can put them in something. But yeah, you get those. You get the light. You get the number. You get the lanyard. You get the charging cable. You get the 14500 battery all for $29.99. So you can't beat it. I mean, this thing is a great flashlight. I love it. Uh, there's a lot of competition in this space. You know, you got the... The pokey lid, and you got the, the tool double A, and you got to ask yourself, which one do I want? Um, which one's the best? Well, uh, that's come pretty much decisions up to you on that. Um, which one you feel is the best? These sometimes go on sale all the way to 19.99, and that re represents a really good price uh, point. And I like it, but again, it has a tail that's exposed. Most people don't mind it. Uh, I haven't had an issue because it does take quite a bit to push it. It does have momentary, as you can see but it's a little harder to push and it's not recessed. So it could t t turn on in your pocket and that could be an issue and you could dump the battery. So that's just something to think about. Uh, this does not have that. And of course that does not have that as well because they're, they're recessed. I like the build quality of the Manker. Um, nice thick construction. Uh, just, you just see it says no frills, all business. So that one gets my vote. Um, if I had to pick a second one, boy, it's a really hard toss up. I'd probably go Ace Beam because I like the, color temperature of this the chia led and this one absolutely amazing and of course the tool double a is the go-to a budget uh, friendly flashlight that uh, will get you through most cases of everything and this thing's fantastic because the set comes with a magnetic base as well and you have the front ability to turn this flashlight on and off when engaged i gotta turn this on here but you can use it like this so you can use the head to change the modes 
This has, I believe, uh, four modes, turbo, high, medium, low. So you get an extra mode too. So just ideas, what you like the best. So I like the Manker. <laughs> I really do. What an amazing light. It's like my first one reviewed too. So yeah, let's get bring that back in. Color temp. All right, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. Two of you like Manker products, check out flashlightgo.com. Great site. They have a lot of flashlights. Uh, and they got these cool ones. You know, I don't see these on Amazon too often. So uh, definitely check them out. Uh, cool company. Uh, I'm not an affiliate there. Just thought I'd tell you since that's a good place to go. And uh, no pun intended. <laughs> um, two, if you like the brand, subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified if I review more of this one. If you guys have this brand, let me know. I'd like to you know, know what you think. If you have this particular model, if you have other ones like it, if you know of ones that I, had, I could review that you think are worthwhile to bring in the channel, just keep in mind that I try to keep the prices on these smaller lights under 50 bucks. I know there's some premium ones out there. So we got 30 and down is pretty good for a price range of a double A power flashlight. And this fits right in that market. So definitely write down below if you have something similar or this particular style. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in my next video.